So we are given this rod AB that can rotate about OO dash. So it, let's say it's rotating by omega. So we are asked at what omega is the horizontal force at this hinge becomes zero. We are given the length of AB L0, the length of the axis OO dash that is L and mass of the rod AB which is M. So again, uh, we have a rod AB that is hinged, that is fixed at the center of this axis of length L. Now this looks like a rod but it is a massless axis which is hinged at the bottom and it is hinged at the top so that it can freely rotate about OO dash. So obviously there will be some forces on the hinges. So they are asking what should be the omega at which the horizontal hinge force at O dash should become zero. Now one thing we can say that if it is rotating by omega then there will be with respect to OO dash there will be a centrifugal force pushing this rod out so as a result reaction force will be inside like this or in ground frame since the centripetal acceleration of this rod is towards center towards left that means the net force on this rod is also towards left which means the net force on this system of axis and rod is also towards left. So we are only talking about horizontal forces. So in our case if the horizontal force at O dash is equal to zero that means only horizontal force is at O and as discussed that horizontal force should be contributing towards this centripetal acceleration. So from there we get our first equation that is so let's read a bit direction of external horizontal component f must be in the direction of a and its value should be f is equal to m omega square l naught by 2 m into a now second equation we can write about this point a and that will be torque equation so why we are considering this point a so we'll read about that later First, let's uh, do torque balance about point A. Because with respect to point A, the system is at rest. So torque should also be balanced. So what are the torques? You can see there will be one mg force downwards here. Then there will be reaction force that will be towards left, F. And as discussed, at the bottom, the there is no force in the horizontal direction. So these are the only two forces. So there will be reaction forces here. So one is in x direction, one is in y direction. So that will pass through A. So here also x component of the reaction force is zero and y component will pass through A. So that will also not contribute to the torque. And whatever the reaction forces are on this point A, which, are, which is holding this rod AB, that will also pass through the same point A. And hence all these reaction force will not contribute towards the torque about point A. So since L is constant, net torque about A is zero. So you can see that if you take any axis about A, L is going to be constant if it is rotating with constant omega. But what we discussed is, is if you take this point A and if you consider the direction coming outside the plane, then the system with respect to A is not rotating at all. In fact, even in ground frame, there is no rotation of this system inside the plane. Right? There is no omega inside the plane. So L is zero. But anyway, let's write L constant because it doesn't matter since the system is at equilibrium and it's rotating with constant omega at any axis, the L is constant. But in the direction which we are considering for torque, that is direction inside the plane, there the torque is zero, which means mg into L0 by 2 is equal to F into L by 2. And our second equation, which is force in the x direction. So the acceleration of AB is towards left, that is omega square L0 by 2, that is contributed by this force on the hinge. So, sorry, this force by the hinge. So F is equal to omega square L naught by 2. 
that's what we have written so we have two equations so we put the value of f here and we get the value of omega which is our answer so why we took the torque about o about a we already discussed but let's read again so we didn't show vertical components of forces at o and o dash as their moment about a will be zero because vertical forces will be passing through a same with centrifugal force centrifugal force will because we are doing with respect to a so centrifugal force will also pass through a and same with reaction forces at a so the reaction forces which are holding this rod horizontal they also pass through a that's why it's very very comfortable for us if we balance the torque about a all right